It's spooky season! Summer has come and gone. We are now in my favorite season of year, which is fall. And with that, I'm sharing with you guys my top 10 most anticipated movies for the rest of 2024. It's been a decent year for movies so far. I don't want to say it's been extravagant. Kind of one of the weaker years of movies since 2020. But nonetheless, a bunch of other big movies coming out the rest of this year. We're going to talk about them. I'm sharing with you my top 10 most anticipated movies for the rest of 2024. Leave your list down below in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. And let's hop into this. At number 10 is crazy. Raven the Hunter. I don't know why I continuously get excited for these Sony-verse movies, but I do. I was excited for Morbius, a little bit excited for Madam Web. I'm always disappointed, but I'm holding true to this theory that Craven the Hunter will be the best Sony-verse movie. It looks action-packed. Aaron Taron Johnson is built like a brick shithouse. It has been delayed countless and countless times, so that's never a good sign. But nonetheless, of a universe that doesn't have the greatest of movies, I think Craven the Hunter might be the best of those not-too-good movies. At number nine is going to be Red One. I love a Christmas movie. I'm a big Christmas guy. I'm a big just fall season guy. I love from Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas. That little fall to winter stretch is my time of year, and I love a good holiday movie. Will this one be good? The CGI just, it looks atrocious with these polar bears running around, but Santa Claus, Saint Nick, gets kidnapped. So you got Dwayne Johnson as this Big old guy going after to get him. It looks like a fun time. It was supposed to come to Netflix. Now it's coming to theaters. We're going to see how this performs box office -ly. I think it's probably going to bomb. Maybe not. You got J.K. Simmons as Santa. Never thought I wanted that, but I do. Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans. Looks like a fun enough time. It's getting just completely hated on by everyone over the internet. Twitter's doing what Twitter does, but Red One I think is going to be fun. I'm a Christmas guy. I I'm going to be there. At number eight is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Shadow looks sick, and I had no idea Keanu Reeves was voicing Shadow until after the trailer came out, but I'm gassed up for this one. These are just fun family movies, and this one looks even like almost a little bit darker. It looks like it had more of a serious tone to it. Keanu Reeves playing Shadow, playing a villain, a guy we love so much now playing a villain in a Sonic movie? I'm here for it. I was waiting for that trailer to come out. When it did, I mean... How can you not get excited? Sonic was like everyone's childhood hero, at least mine. I grew up playing all the games, and I'm just excited to come back into this world with these characters, have a little bit of fun. They're a little bit cheesy. They're a little bit silly. I'm cool with all that, but Shadow looks sick. At number seven is Mufasa, the Lion King. I'm a sucker for these live-action remakes. I'm not even sure if this counts as a live-action remake because it's its own movie, but this one looks it looks pretty freaking cool. You got Scar and Mufasa growing up together, how they became brothers. I don't know how it's going to tie into the original Lion King story because, you know, Mufasa is always telling Simba those stories of, like, his father and his father before him, the kings and kings. How is that going to tie in? Is it going to kind of derail everything that the Lion King did? Maybe. Just maybe. But seeing Mufasa and Scar younger growing up getting told this story about them, I mean, I'm here for that. The emotion on these live-action lion's faces looks way better than 2019's Lion King, so... Just coming into this one, it looks fun, it looks exciting, you got some good music in there, got a great voice cast in there, it looks beautiful, and I watched the trailer, I had chills, comes out around Christmas time, come on, I'm a big Disney guy, I'm a live action guy, and lions running around, a story from Mufasa and Scar, Whew. come on. At number six is Moana 2. I've been openly saying this. I think this seems kind of a little too similar to the first Moana. This was supposed to be a made a series, now made into a movie. Nonetheless, I'm excited to see how far we're going to go with this one because the first Moana is one of just the greatest, most, I feel, underappreciated at times Disney movies in the last 20 years. I love it. I love the music. I love the songs. So coming back into that world with these characters going on another adventure across the ocean, that's what gets me excited. Hopefully we get some new music in there, some hit songs like You're Welcome, some hit songs like How Far I'll Go, and hopefully we just get something a little bit different. Hopefully we get something just a little bit more unique with the story this time around because, again, the trailers... Do seem like it's going to be kind of a cut for cut, almost like rebate remake of the original Moana. That's not what we need. We need something new. We need something fresh. With all the ocean ancestors and everything, Pua and Hey Hey, I'm here. Come on. Breaking us in the top five is Lord of the Rings: The War of the Rohirrim. I just watched the trailer while making this list for movies that I'm excited for. It was on my radar because I'm a diehard Lord of the Rings fan. 
I did not know it looked this good. The anime style looks just, mamma mia, it looks fantastic. It looks a little bit darker for an anime movie as well, so I'm also here for that. This is just a different story than of anything I've ever known about Lord of the Rings, and I'm just so excited to hop back into the world of Middle-Earth and all these new characters, and it just looks sick, but also like looks very beautiful in the way it's going to be told. It looks like it's going to be epic. It looks like it's going to be action-packed. I feel a lot of the people don't know is what's coming out. Mark it on your calendars, people. We're heading back to Middle Earth. At number four, Joker, fully outdo. I'm actually seeing this movie this upcoming week at the time of filming this video, which is September 29th. So I'm going to see this movie just within a couple days, and I'm getting more and more excited for it. It's going to make you feel uneasy. It's going to be absolutely insane what Todd Phillips brings us yet again. This time, you're introducing Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. You're also introducing it as a musical. So many things here I think can work very well. I also have a couple reservations because I think this can be that kind of like Moana where it is falling in that like almost just a remake. Nonetheless, I'm excited for it. I think I'm actually seeing it in like 24 hours of right now. I'm gassed. At number three, a complete unknown. This is Timothy Chalamet's time. I think he's going to get nominated. I actually think he's going to win. This is a story on Bob Dylan. And it's just really coming to show that Timmy's here to stay, man. He got nominated when he was like 18 or 19. Took a couple years off. Did a couple blockbusters, a couple family movies, a couple of different indie projects. And now he's back in the limelight of that Oscar buzz. He sounds just like Bob Dylan throughout this one. And the way he's just going to deliver one of the best performances of the entire year. I'm just here for it. James Mangold going to get nominated for Best Director. This is going to be a huge award movie. And I love those kind of movies around Christmas time. And Timmy back in the limelight of those Oscar-worthy performances. I mean, he's killing it. Timmy Shalman is just killing it. At number two, Saturday Night. I'm a huge Saturday Night Live fan. And this is about the first ever Saturday Night Live, but the first hour and a half that led up to Saturday Night Live. This comes out just in a couple weeks, and this movie looks insane. It looks all over the place. It has all these classic Saturday Night Live people, so it looks like it's going to be so interesting to see, but also looks absolutely hilarious, and I love movies like this. It reminds me of Blackberry of last year. The way it's filmed is all just a little bit different. It feels almost like you're watching a documentary at times rather than just watching like a movie, so I like the way they make that happen, and Dylan O'Brien just looks fantastic. It looks funny. It looks fast-paced. I think this could even get a couple Oscar buzz and awards, too. Maybe even like a best adapted screenplay, best screenplay. Nonetheless, as a huge Saturday Night Live fan, I'm excited to see them tell a story about the first ever Saturday Night Live and leading up to that moment. But at number one is Gladiator 2. A bunch of these sequels on this list all seem like they are kind of like remakes, like something we have seen in the original film before. Nonetheless, Gladiator 2 looks sick. You got Denzel, you got Joseph Quinn, you got Pedro Pascal, and you got Paul Mescal. This cast is stacked. The action looks like an all-time high. This could be back to form for Ridley Scott, who in my opinion has not lost a form. This dude has not lost a beat. Ridley Scott's one of the greatest directors of all time. Gladiator 2 looks grand. It looks epic. And if Denzel's on board, you got Joseph Quinn on board. I mean, these actors, young and I guess legends, are just going to make this movie for something fantastic. Paul Mescal, you got to love him. And Pedro Pascal, I mean playing almost like the villain throughout this movie i'm here for i'm here for these big grand action scenes and i'm here to see what really scott's still gonna bring i still think he's one of the greatest directors of all time like i said i think he hasn't missed a beat nonetheless gladiator 2 my most anticipated movie for the rest of 2024 that's gonna do it my most anticipated movies for the rest of 2024 my top 10 what do you guys make of it what is your list let me know all that down below in the comments you should hit the like button subscribe by notification bell got a bunch of content coming out this week revolving around the dc universe because Joker Folio do is here, people. Thank you guys for watching. Like, button, subscribe, button, notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.